I don't even. Ugh, I've had enough of my computer today. Let's just get this over with. I'm not even gonna bother speaking. I've had enough of this computer. Just some computer problems. Might need to do a system scan to see what's causing the thing to do what it's doing. But yeah.
For a moment, I thought I was still paused. And, oh my gosh. I'm trying not to do commentary because it's late at night and my brain is not functioning as well as it should. But yeah. If anyone knows what the reasoning behind a computer freezing, like just the screen, like, like the icons on my, uh, taskbar could be used, well, some of them, and I could use them, but it was like very limited use. That's happened twice. It's happened once today and one one time another, like a few days ago. It's only just started a few days ago, and I noticed because my clock was no longer like in sync with time. I have task manager open, and I want to see what could possibly be causing that. I'm on the latest update. Maybe it's the update? I don't know. It's something I should look into before I... Before I go to any computer experts. But anyways, let's get back to this. And the reason why I was doing no commentary is because I wanted time to think about it. Also, I'm watching a video, so... Just a video on a subscriber I'm subscribed to. Not gonna say which one. But, so yeah, still need to figure out a way to stop the uh, Tetramino from doing that. I guess I can have orbs also be near them, and when they're near hedge, they are stop. That's odd. Obviously I want to stop the Tetraminos from like doing that. So I need something to stop it from moving. Once it's like facing that wall. But I can't use locked and locked. Unless we have two separate things. I really wonder how I'm gonna do that. But well, let's try and continue. We've got the near thing, so now it just automatically changes it to it. Not quick enough, though. Also, one of you pointed out that I, I can get nudge with directions and stuff by using nudge up or nudge down. I'm assuming that's also the same thing with like locked and fall. And we can just test that right now. So let's try locked up. Mm hmm. Oop, that's F12. Fall right. Yeah. Sorry I keep checking it. I might consider switching over to OBS, but Bandicam's still been working for me uh, pretty well. Pretty well, as in it records some of the time. Yeah. Give me some time to think about this. I will be right back. If I be right back, I mean be back with my mic.
Well, I think I figured out my situation for having the Tetraminos from shifting into other Tetraminos. <laughs> Just use cogs that defeat themselves once they reach the bottom. That works in the long run, but what if... Yeah, it works there, but I want to. It needs to also apply once it reaches, like, other Tetraminos that's already been placed. Hmm. This is a lot to think about. And this is only one half of the thing. We still have. Puyo Puyo, and yes, I'm going off the pronunciation that the characters say in the game, too, so... Yeah, it's 11.50pm. It's almost midnight. Now I want to get this uploaded before my computer decides to freeze. I really hope it doesn't. Just don't be paranoid about it, and it won't happen. It only seems to happen when I'm not using it, and when this is open. <laughs> so... I'm gonna check my task manager real quick. Well, doesn't seem to be too bad, so... We can continue going on.
Okay, so... Let's make the... Just an ex as an example... Hedges didn't fall, right? I'm just gonna put hedges there. Just put some tetramino models. Say like a T like that, and... A T and... An, ooh, what was that? Steam? That was Steam. What are you doing, Steam? What? Oh, uh, one second. Okay, so Steam decided to say, Hey, you're already playing this, but... Yeah. I have Bob as you tasked barred, so it doesn't launch through Steam. In theory, could I play two Steam games at once if I just bypass the first Steam thing? I wonder how that'd show on Discord. But back to this topic at hand. So if we do that, how does it act? I think we figured out how the gravity mechanism is going to work. So we no longer have to worry about weird shapes. I think we figured it out. We're making a milestone in this. Now, it'd be nice to get a rotation feature, but that'd probably require way too much text. Gosh, don't you just hate getting, like, the S or Z piece? Or, sorry, S or Z tetramino as your first tetramino? Hate using those. If you don't have a T piece or an L or a L or J piece, tetramino, don't say piece, that's insulting them. Yeah, you can tell I'm a Tetris lover here. Wish I was awake, just completely get rid of that defeat noise, though, because... Oh yeah, you see the uh, subtitle? I think I think I know what I'm doing. I'm not certain, but I think I know what I'm doing. This is my I'm not no no one's on Discord or no chat is being very uh very dead right now. But someone's typing. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't gotten a message yet. Shout out to everyone on the Discord. <laughs> Alright, let's focus. So we got the line clear function. We got the piece lock function. I'm gonna... gonna do that. I should probably set a status to know when, I re e when I'm recording, but sometimes you forget, especially, especially if it's last minute like this. Let's save. So I think we got the Tetris part down. It can't be that simple, right? I mean, yes, we still have to make the Tetraminos and everything, but that's a lot less text, probably because I'm using different, just using, using two objects rather than the multitude I had. And I probably could have saved space if I didn't make such a giant thing, but I just wanted it to look nice. But I realized in life you can't have nice things. <laughs> oh, you're saying we're you're saying weird and random things, and. Yet, you lose a game of tic-tac-toe to yourself. Alright, so... I need to generate what each touch amino looks like, and I want to know which one... I want to have random generation. I also want to have... Uh, maybe like... For every three... Oh no, the swap function. Let's 
for every three Puyo drops, we have one Tetramino Fall. That's how fusion mode works, right? I do not like fusion mode. So what are the Tetrimino's going to look like? How do I want to set these up? Let's go ahead and get my notebook out. I'm taking notes here to show what how I'm going to do it too. So if I just flip to a page that isn't used. Why does this page say Why Baba on it? So... Okay, that is a terrible representation of what I'm trying to do here. Okay, so we already have the L Tetramino set up. And there are L, J, T, S, and Z, O, and I Tetramino. So that's seven Tetraminos. There are only five Puyo colors, but they can come in, in, they come, they, finish your sentence, they, let me try again, Puyo's five colors, they can come as an, a double, uh, as a pair, like two of the same color, or a mixed pair. I know that in fusion mode you can also get, like, a three pair one. And also like a four pair that's all the same color, but yeah. So that's the guy who doesn't who knows little who knows little about Puyo Puyo. Seriously, seriously, if you see me play Puyo Puyo, you can tell that I can only make a two chain. <laughs> Speaking of chains, I should pro I should try and make chains in this. Which can theoretically be done if you just line everything up correctly. <sighs> I kind of want to make rotation variants, but at the same time I don't. You know what? Let's ex let's experiment here. Uh, random piece generator thing. Close enough. It feels weird to use the size of level now. So I think I'll try and make the generator in this, and then just try and copy the schematics over. Actually, let's go back to the level, if I can find it. Where is it? Hello? Also, I plan to continue the GG series, but actually, since GG's gone, or is he, if you join the Discord, you can find out why I say he, if, is he gone. But yeah, definitely continuing that series. I'm going to put it into a story world, so no real, pu no real puzzles, but kind of more just a storyline. I can make it like a movie. 
Yeah, you can just use level levels auto and just punch a bu put a bunch of rolls that are hide. I need to do my recycling. Yeesh. So maybe. Yeah, maybe not a brand and peace generator. Oh, but if you don't have, yeah, I can't create a random peace generator for the sake of it. For the sake of it, because the cogs are also needed when they're being dropped. And I don't know how to make it a pinpoint spawn there. I wish there was a way I could just make, make separate groups, like... Like, I wish there was a way to, like, make, like big things instead of just one single singular object on a single tile and telly can sort of work like that except no one wants to use telly like that hmm it might just have to be that way <laughs> Yeah, I'd love to make a random piece generator. If someone can actually make that for me, I'll credit you and I'll put it in my level. But for now, it's just going to be using you two or you to make it. But I don't know where I'm going to make the generator part. I don't think Puyo Puyo will take as long as making Tetris will. Because... I think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's got import five colors, which are... Oh crap, are we gonna be using five separate objects? Yay! What are the colors of the Puyos again? Green, red, yellow, blue, purple. Okay. So I can use like... Me... Me, ring, I have never used ring, pants, uh, green train, and skull as the objects. As the Puyos, sorry. Are, are those what they're called? The tiny, the, like, singular things? Intrigues me to really see how this is coming along. We're gonna get rid of unneeded objects. And we still need to figure out how to make the fail function, too. Either when the Tetraminos reach the top, or when a Puyo touches the X. Or in this case, if you top out. I think if you top out, we should make powered te te text on ice slash any of those objects is power. Power level is weak. I wonder what happens if you do level is empty. Does it return you to the uh, map screen with no with no level? Something worth experimenting with. 31 minutes. Yike. It's 12.07. I'm gonna give myself another. Let's see. Uh, 
I'm gonna give myself another 20 minutes to work on this before I stop. Alright, so... So I guess we're done with Tetris for now. I mean, we have everything except the peacemaking part. Now, for the peacemaking part, we're just gonna use a bunch of objects that are idly waiting for it to be telly. And I guess we have things that can make. So, like, say in this corner, there could be like a workshop of, uh, stuff that you, too, can use to make Tetramino slash Puyos. Yeah, that sounds like it could work. And we could put the telly thing... Oh no. Huh. So... You know? We could just... We're gonna get 12 objects that are gonna be telly. So let's get... Algae. Arrow. Bat. Why, why is banana and bat's text not near each other? I lost track. Boat. Bolt. Boat. Bolt. Book. Box. What happens if you run out of objects? Do you just- can you not have any more objects? Again, more experiments to do, but do I really feel like holding control for that long? I completely forgot what objects I'm gonna use. So we just need to make 12 here. Algae. I'm probably gonna do it on layer 2, actually. Algae. Sign. Arrow. Bat. Banana! B. Book. Bolt. Whoops. Boat. Bird. Belt. Brig. <laughs> Belt. Brig. Okay, my voice can't go any higher. Just kidding, it can, but I'm not going to. Don't want to shred my voice box today. Place that there and put that as a placeholder. All of those are idly gonna be text. Or gonna be idly telly. Gonna be t telly that activates when you idle. All of those need to be hide. All of them. Which they go under the general rules category, which is here. So... Algae, and sign, and arrow, and bat. So, what was it? Algae, and sign, and arrow, and bat is hide. Did I spell and wrong once? Because it's not there. I definitely spelled it wrong, didn't I? Perfect. Oh man, almost 15 minutes left, huh? So... Banana, I banana, banana B book and bolt. Banana and I didn't need to make and again, but I want I didn't want any gaps when I was typing. So boat, bird, belt, brick, bird and belt and 
Bolt. And Rick. Now, all, if all those aren't hide, then I've missed one. And now it's taking a long time to... Uh-oh. No. Please don't crash. Please, please don't crash. No! Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! You didn't do it, yay. What? I missed did I miss boat? <laughs> Please don't take that long to load. Oh This might become a problem if it takes too long. I see Bolt twice! So if I want to test this level, I'm probably going to go to the play levels category because this is not ideal for playtesting. Definitely missed boat. Did that say 150 something? Bolt's hide? That's amazing. So we're gonna go to play test. We're gonna we're gonna go do test levels and hope that. Or play levels, tester, custom levels. It's doing it again. Okay, so I think it's just ideal that maybe I should have the text separated because I think it's taking too long for it to load. I wonder if my voice is even being captured in this. Okay, it is. You scare me when you go all when the screen goes all white like that. Why is it why is it designed to do this? Like why? Task manager? Oh, why is he so laggy? Did you see that lag? So I'm obviously gonna separate the text and see if that makes it any better. Cause we don't- I don't think we need to be that concise. It's not a level, we're not level packs, we're regular levels. Where it be? Where is it at? Where is it at, though? Where is it? Where is it? Not sure why I had such a hard time finding it. You go 
ahead and move it. Will this make it any better? Probably not, but... You would think, things being hide, it wouldn't have to show the icon, therefore it wouldn't slow the game down at all. Save for a test. Well, it's definitely less laggy, so... I think having it stacked did something, so it did something. Maybe because of the ands. Maybe because of the extra ands stacked on top, the rule was repeated again and again. That therefore causing the game to slow down and lag. That's probably what happened. I've lost so much time waiting it for it, for it to load. So now we make the we have to move the rules over anyways. Not sure why I did them on separate layers. Let's go ahead and transfer all to layer one. And move them over one step. Well not really. So let's go ahead and make the uh, thing that creates the rules. Or creates the tetraminos, and then we can Start working on the Puyo part tomorrow. Cause certainly it is tomorrow. Oh yeah, it's a three day weekend too. Cool. Can't wait to stay up all night tomorrow. Just kidding. Sleep is important. Don't deny it. Trust me, you'll feel you'll face the consequences. Says the guy who stayed up basically every night in summer. Idle all of those is Tali. Oh, that's gonna make a pleasant noise when you teleport six objects over. You can also pair it with group. Where art thou, group? Oh, I already have group. Cool. Always remember to test before you play games. Or, always remember to save before testing. to idle group is tele oh what was that um that's not how it's supposed to happen okay we might solve a problem <laughs> oh my gosh just when I thought my problems were over, they're not. <laughs> Ice near hedge is hedge, meaning that the pieces will transform before before they're supposed to. I guess I should stick to facing. Ugh. Margaret, I'm probably gonna fix some of this stuff up off camera. But yeah. Part two of the Tetris thing. Probably the last part of making Tetris in this. 
Next, we're gonna start working on Puyo Puyo! Yay! Yay! We got a lot, a lot of work ahead of me. Thank you all for watching. Thanks for seeing my pain. I'll see y'all later. Join the Discord. You'll, you won't regret it.